Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. Today we're going to talk nitrogen. My guest is uh, University of Guelph professor Josh Nasalski. Now Josh and his colleagues have just completed a pretty in-depth look at split rate nitrogen. And they found some interesting results on the benefits, economic benefits of split rate nitrogen as well as the environmental benefits. Here's Josh Nasalski. So Josh, tell me about how you structured the research. Obviously you're comparing pre-plant broadcast to the splits. Talk about the splits and I, I guess the rates. So what we wanted to do is see if it paid, if it was pro more profitable to split, nit split your nitrogen and adjust that second end rate based on the growing season weather in our case. So what we did is we took 40 years of, of weather from, uh, from the Allura Research Station and we said, Let's look at the 20%, the 20% highest, uh, hottest years, the driest years, the 20% of the wettest years, etc. And in these extreme years, we want to know, you know, when does split nitrogen pay? And it turns out that it's in those more extreme years, more hotter, more drier, more wetter, that it actually makes it's much more profitable to split your end and adjust that second end rate. Talk about, I guess, the, the profitability here. You, we, we, you talked about 15 to 20 percent in a dry year, 1 to 16 in a wet year. You know, why the difference? So in a dry year, okay, that crop is going to be limited by water. And so adding more in just is not going to increase yield. So you're making more profit by reducing your end, your end rate in a dry year uh, because you have lower input costs and you're not affecting yield. In a wet year, uh, yields are actually higher on average, and so it pays with that split end application, that split, that second end rate, to top it up, to add more than you normally would, to take advantage of that, uh, that higher yield potential. Yeah. Talk about the timing. Obviously, you, that, that, that second application you put on, obviously, um, at side dress, and then later. Yeah. Um, any, any advantage to going, uh, as I say, at side dress or later? So the latest we've applied nitrogen uh, has been at V13 in Ontario, and that's pretty late. Uh, so in Ontario, V13 is about 10 days before silking. Uh, but further south, uh, for example, in Indiana, V13 is going to be 20 days before silking. And so when their farmers are applying at V13, uh, you know, I think a V10 is probably a more comparable stage. So I think most agronomists in Ontario would say V10 is probably a good stage to aim at. We wanted to look at V13 just because it's a little bit more later and you have a longer window uh, to capture weather, look at weather information, uh, look at mineralization, and then adjust that second end rate. Now, Josh, you mentioned that you looked at extremes of weather over a long period of time. How did you find those? So we took uh, historical weather that was collected at the Allura Research Station, and we divided it up um, statistically. We said 60% of this data set is gonna be considered normal, average growing season. And we're only gonna look at the extreme years, which we defined as the 20% wettest, the 20% driest, 20% coolest, 20% uh, warmest. And we looked at those extreme years because we, we thought, and this was true in the, in the study, that the economic and environmental benefits of splitting and is going to be most apparent highest in those extreme years and they were. Josh tell me about the environment here. What did you learn about split rate nitrogen application? How can it benefit the environment and you know basically you know manage that nitrogen on the farm? Well what we found in this research and this is not just me it was with uh, uh, graduate student Tasmia Kabir, Alarin Delaport and Alphonse Weersink from uh, the agri economics department, ag economics here, uh, what we found is that often the economics and the environment uh, go hand in hand. So with split end applications, like in a dry season, if you're reducing your nitrogen rate, uh, then you're benefiting the environment. There's going to be less nitrogen losses. Uh, and you're also increasing your profit. You're just reducing your input costs. Uh, in, in a wet year, by splitting your nitrogen, uh, by applying nitrogen a bit later in the season, you're avoiding those rains, those early spring rains that can really just cause that nitrogen to just leave the farm. And so there's a benefit in terms of by reducing or adjusting your end rate, often the economically, the most profitable end rate is also beneficial environmentally, but also just by delaying, like, like waiting a little bit longer, you're waiting for that, you're waiting until say uh, early July or late June, uh, you're just, there's less risk of loss just because of the timing. 
Hey, Josh, uh, some great insights. Uh, great to have you on uh, the Corn School. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for a pleasure.